2,000 students in four school buildings make up the campus of Lawrenceburg School District. Security enhancements, like upgraded cameras and additional resource officers at schools, were already in the works. When we were in school, it wasn't the same kind of heightened alertness that we're at right now. And, and school safety is one of the top priorities for any school and any school corporation and school leaders. And, and we take that very serious. But when Indiana's governor offered handheld metal detectors in all public schools, it came as a surprise here in Lawrenceburg. I follow the governor on Twitter, so I saw the tweet go out with his message, watched his video message, and, and we were. I mean, it, it, it was kind of a surprise to us as, as school leaders. Lawrenceburg ordered eight detectors. Janice Rising is a mother who supports the idea. Anything we need to do to protect our kids, I'm fine with that. The governor's office tells me 81 percent of traditional public schools statewide have signed up. 2,566 devices are on order, one device for every 250 students. This follows the shooting at Noblesville Middle School, where a student and teacher were shot. Andy Block taught in Noblesville for seven years. The state of Indiana rolling out these, these metal detectors, these wands, I 100% support that idea. Donnie Clare is a parent and former teacher. It worries you, but at the same time, you know, in the world that we live in today, anything can happen anywhere, so don't uh, never let down, down your guard too much. The superintendent here in Lawrenceburg tells me they are still working out all the details for the use of these devices. The handheld metal detectors should arrive by mid-August. In Lawrenceburg, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.